Namaskar, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do you remember your childhood days, those art and craft classes? Do you still like playing with clay? All grown ups? Well, let's, let's do some physics with this then. So all you need is thread, a needle and some clay. You can take any of your favorite color. So let's begin. Take your favorite color clay and make a round ball with this. Easy. Next you take your needle and put some thread in it. So I'll take my thread. There we go. Okay. So once this is done, take your ball and put this needle into this ball neatly. Make sure that your ball is exactly in the center of this thread. Looks good. So it's done. So that is it. Now, finally you need some hooks to hang this artistic piece of work. The sophisticated artistic piece of work. Let me find some place to hang it. So the arrangement is as shown. Now the two ends, the extreme ends of the string, they start moving downwards with a uniform velocity u. Uniform velocity meaning that there is no acceleration. You have to tell me the speed with which this ball will start to move in the upwards direction. This string is inextensible. When I say the string is inextensible, this means that the length of the string won't change if I stretch it. It will remain the same. So in numericals, whenever this is given, this means that length of the string is not changing. Length of the string will remain constant. This is the constraint problem. Constraint is something that limits you something that limits you this this is a constraint and in the question you are also given that the the string forms an angle theta with the vertical so with uniform velocity the two ends of the string start moving downward you have to tell me the speed with which this ball will start to move in the upward direction and your options are a b u by cos theta is it c 2 u by cos theta or your option is d that is u cos theta what will be your answer So side by side, I'll also be drawing a rough sketch of the given problem. So I have the length of the string is constant. So this is a clue in this given question. Another thing that I know is these pulleys are fixed and they are considered to be frictionless. So the string will slide or glide smoothly over these pulleys and the pulleys are considered to be frictionless. So there will be no resistance to the motion of this thread over these pulleys. These two pulleys, these are fixed. So I know there is no friction because of these pulleys and they are fixed. Now these two points, let me say this is point A and this is point B. These two points of this inextensible thread, these are pulled downwards. These go downwards with 
a uniform speed uniform velocity u in the downward direction so this u is uniform these two ends a and b of the thread they are pulled downwards with a uniform velocity of u now you have to find now you have to find with what speed will this ball of mass m will move upwards that is you have to find the speed with which the ball moves upwards summer time indian summer fruits so let me concentrate on this diagram here you know that the length of the string is constant so let me erase this you already know this and this velocity is uniform here so u is known and you have to find the velocity of this ball now i know this is the complete length of the string that is not changing in the problem so if at all this ball moves upwards as these ends are pulled downwards with a uniform velocity of u let me consider the length x that goes upwards such that these two ends move a distance x in the downward direction mind it these two lengths are equal so this is the complete length of the string and if at all the string goes up a length x on both these sides these two end points these will move down a distance x is this point clear obviously if i'm decreasing something here this thread will increase by that much length in the downward direction because the overall length is constant i know this point is clear okay so that means now the new position the new position of the string will be like this so i'm representing the new position by a dotted line so this is the new position of the string wherein you can assume it to be somewhere here this mass m this goes some distance upwards and this is the new length of this string okay so i hope this is visible the new situation is this so the rate of change of this length with the time is known by the name of velocity and in the given question it happens to be u in the question it is given that u is the velocity with which the two ends start moving downwards so u is given also in the question they are giving you an initial position wherein they are saying that this is the angle theta with the vertical that this string is forming the string is forming an angle theta with the vertical so you know this velocity with which the thread is moving downwards is u this means if you decrease an amount x an amount of length x in these strings over here this will result in an increase in the length of the strings by x here because the overall length of the string remains constant now i have to find the speed with which this ball of mass m this box of mass m moves upwards so i do not know this speed so i'll assume that let that speed be v the speed with which it is moving upwards let that speed be v so this is v and this angle theta is known to me this angle theta is given to me in the problem the decrease in this length is causing an increase in this length so you will be taking the component of this velocity along the length of this thread and what that component is it is v cos theta 
and note that it is the component of the velocity v along the length of the thread which is causing a decrease in the length of the thread the speed that is trying to decrease the length of the thread should be equal to the speed that is causing an increase in the length of the string so what will be your v v is u by cos theta and that is your answer so i hope you like my video if you do do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and write your beautiful comments in the comment section below and i'll be back with my next video this is pooja kaushal saying goodbye you know i'll be back with my next video till that time do not forget to take really good care of yourselves